Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of like two teams in, in, in first half and second half. But um, um, we found out right before the game that we couldn't play TJ. And uh, that was a big blow because um, I've said it all along. You know, we Ryan Ryan uh, Green, I mean Ryan Harrell and R.J. Hunter get a lot of the credit, but the the main reason that we're having success this year is because of Marcus Kreider and T.J. Um, the energy, the passion, they, they they've changed this team for us. And so when you take one of those guys out, man, that was a big blow for us, a huge blow. It's not what you, it's not the stat stuff. T.J.'s heart and his energy uh, is big, and so uh, um, so we decided to uh, we, we sit him out, and um, you know we'll see what happens here uh, as we get to Saturday. But talk about this guy over here. I thought Marcus Crowder was, uh, was was big. We made an adjustment at halftime so we could kind of space him out. They were trying to take RJ and, and uh, scrap away or run away on the wings. And so we thought that uh, we had an advantage with Marcus inside, one-on-one, when it was spaced out because there's not many guys that can guard him off the dribble and the hop hole. So, um, so it ended up working out for us. But it wasn't our offense, our defense, and our energy. You know, we started that second half, got smaller, and our energy was absolutely incredible. Questions for Coach? Coach, Thank you. Um, you did a half court press in the first half, yeah. and you had a 13 0 run. And then in the second half, you started with a full court press, too, and you got some easy points off of that. How did the um, defense of schemes that you did, the different ones, how did they spark your offense? I love you. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I tell you what, I, and, and it was a great question because that was a key. We felt like we had to get ourselves going. We were playing at their pace, and so we don't press as much as we used to. But we got we, we thought the press energized us a little bit, and so we were able to get at it. We played a smaller lineup, so we were able to press and, and, and kind of force pressure a little bit, and it kind of got us going and got us easy baskets and got us those 50-50 balls that we that we do. And you know, we kind of been talking about pressing, but when we change defenses like that, it it, it, it helps our main defense, and so. Um, you know, I would like to press a little bit more, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. But it definitely, as you said, it changed the whole the whole scheme of the game. Just you know, with the changing of the press. Um, congratulations on the win. Oh, thank you. It seemed like you guys tried to get on a run, or you guys tried to start a run, but you guys couldn't really stop them um, from rebounding and you know getting second points. Um, can you talk about a little bit about that? Well, I don't, I don't know if it was that. I think that uh, what, what, what happens on runs at some of the times is that when you, you when you extend leads on run, threes are big. And so our three-point shooting isn't quite there yet. I mean, we had four of them by RJ that was halfway down and popped out. And so uh, you extend leads by making free throws. And so, uh, uh, and again, you you know, unless you're playing a really, really bad team, you know, they're trying to, you know, like like they made a run on us. We You got to cut the runs, you time out, you change some things. He's a good coach and he did the same thing. Um, I uh, so, uh, so I thought we did a you know fairly decent job with that. I mean, our main energy rebounding guy was out, so we knew that rebounds was going to be big with us without having TJ in here. But yet, and still, uh, we out rebounded by six, and so um, um, so that was that was good for us. But um, you know, to, when you win a league game by twenty, you know that's tough to do. You know that team gave us they give us fits every time we play them, and you know to beat them by twenty, you know in the first league game that that's pretty good. Especially when it, for us it was it was the last twenty minutes they did it. Jordan also saw the yeah. role that he did tonight. Yeah. Is that something that you think will continue? Yeah, we've been practicing him and, and actually Isaiah Dennis a little bit more with the hopes that, you know, there's a lot of games. When you play 20 league games, one of the things that's very difficult, You play, we got 20 league games in, in, in about eight weeks. That's a lot of games. And so we know we're going to have to use some different people. And so a show tonight, and I thought Jordan Sessions and Jalen Brown really gave us great minutes, you know, off the bench, especially, you know, losing TJ's minutes. With TJ out, I noticed that Kurt didn't play much in the second half at all. Was that yeah. because you liked the lineup on the floor, or what was going on there? Um, effort. We were, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, effort. You got, you got to have effort, and so the young guys are bringing effort, and so uh, you know, TJ. I mean, uh, Kurt Snow, he knows that he's played a long time with us, but um, you know, effort. And so, um, you know, sometimes you got to sit there and you just got to look, you know. And so, if I got a, if I got a young freshman that's going to give me effort, he has absolutely and, and Jordan Sessions has absolutely no idea what he's doing, but he plays hard. I mean, literally, he doesn't know play, he doesn't know like he got he, that he's at Georgia State, he doesn't know, but he will play hard every single time. And so that that's that's enough sometimes right there. And so, so we're going to play the guys that could do that. Uh, you know, Kirk Kirk's just got to keep himself ready. Um, while they were in the two three zone, um, the time you guys went to Marcus, um, you know, uh, pretty effective, um, going a couple of baskets. Can you talk about that, like why you maybe you guys didn't go to him? Maybe more the well, well, a lot of it had to do with that. We had, you know, it's funny. We haven't seen a lot of zone all year. And the zone, what it does, I mean, we're a matchup team. You think we go against it a lot, but our first team really doesn't because no one plays us that way. So we don't go against it a lot 
on the, the groups that's playing. And so we hadn't seen it a lot. And so we knew, I think this is where we're, we'll, we'll be a great zone offensive team because we got a guy in a high post that can score. And so if you want to take the shooters away, now we can able to do that. Um, I thought early we just were rushing. Everything was so fast, you know. And so we, you know, we took we took bad shots. Our timing of some of the stuff wasn't there. We knew they were going to zone us, so we've been working on it. Um, but we just didn't do a good enough job executing early. And we just spent the whole halftime talking about, you know, Quit running stuff. Let's go with our straight basic zone offense. And we felt good with one-on-one matchups inside. Any other questions? Hey, Kevin. And then his uh, aggressiveness going to the basket, something that he is proficient in that, but yeah. he didn't seem to do enough. Yeah, I thought he. I thought Kevin. This is you know, was kind of one of his better games. You got to remember, we, he was he was clear. He had a concussion really, and so he wasn't even clear. He hadn't practiced. Last time he picked up a ball was our Green Bay game when he got hurt, and so he hadn't played since then. We didn't know he was going to play until the beginning of the game, also. So we had two guys that we had no idea was even going to play today, um, and so uh, it's been an interesting year. I mean, when you, when you look at you know the, the the injuries and the losses and not having Jeff Thomas and Kevin Ware quite not being the same, you know where everything's on the fly with us, and so it's just. Like what it's been, you know. First, have to kind of figure it out and see what happens, and 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 uh, that's what the resiliency of this group's all about. That's why I love these guys. And so, you know, people are gonna say a lot. You know, we don't do this, we don't do that, we don't da 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 da. And, and you know, at the end of the day, you want it on the league eight and four, you're pretty damn good. So, uh, we're happy with it. We move on. We got a good opponent on Wednesday, um, but it's gonna take a lot to beat it. This is a tough-minded, mentally group. I love this team because of their mental toughness. We've had a lot of bad things happen to us, but we just keep moving on, keep moving on. And so uh, we're going to be fine. We just got to get healthy and get some guys back. But this was a great statement for our, for our guys today. You uh, you kind of relish the underdog role. You probably who me? In, 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 yeah. In every league game moving forward. Yeah. Uh, how will you? Uh, Continue to keep, get this in the championship. You know what? As I told our guys, after no one likes us. The AJC doesn't like us. The league doesn't like us. You know, half the university, half the city, no one, no one likes us. We're the worst team in the state. That's okay. You know, I just need those 15 guys in that uniform to like what we do. And and uh, people talk bad about us. But at the end of the day, watch what happens at the end of the year. You know, um, you know. I, one great thing about Georgia State, man, we got some of the most bandwagonest people I've ever seen in my life. You know, uh, we got people. You know, would jump off the bridge thinking, you know, we lose a game. We, you know, we lost four games to unbelievably great teams on the road and we're awful but uh, as I said we got some we, we got something to prove not to anybody else but to us you know we, we got some we got some goals but only thing we have something to prove is, is a, and I do right now I'm, there's a lot of things I'm really 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 upset with and I have been and I don't know sometimes I think I work myself up but I'm so upset right now about some things that are going on um, but but my guys are going to keep it going Marcus, what what did you uh, what were you able to do more successful in the second half to kind of spark the team and, and you scored nine consecutive points I think at one point. Second half, I really just got the shots going. First half, I missed three easy bunnies and I knew it wasn't going to happen again in the second half. We may have missed like eight straight shots all in the rim and out, like Coach said. I told the team it's not going to happen in the second half. We're going to come out and get the win. Were there any similarities in the start of this game and the finish of the Green Bay game? It just seemed like the energy disappeared there and y'all couldn't find it here. No, we, we found it. The start of the game, we just knew that the shots weren't going to fall early. Like, it didn't. But the second half, we knew they're going to fall. This is our house. We're going to protect our house. And that's what we did. Do you, uh, did you say anything to, to Jordan, knowing with TJ being out, that he would have to play more today? Or, or do you do anything to, to, to help him along as, as a young player who, like Coach says, uh, may not know where he's supposed to be, but, but will bring energy? I actually didn't really say anything to Jordan. I told him to TJ. TJ, last year, I didn't play the last home game, and I remembered it. TJ told me, Marcus, we're going to win this game for you, and I told him the same thing before this game. Hey, can you talk about uh, – I meant to ask Coach this, and I forgot because he's mad at me. Um, <laughs> Ryan Green's uh, effort in the second half, and, and that seemed to really get y'all sparked and, and get you going, too. Ryan Green is one of the – the youngest people I look up to in this world. Like when I first got here, he took me under my wing, he showed me the ropes, and his effort is like 100% at everything, anything he does. I really admire that kid.